Well, West Streeting wasn't having it. And I'm joined in the studio now by Health Minister for the Conservative Party, Maria Colfield. Welcome to the show. So some, some good news for you. The number's down for five months on the bounce. But Rishi Sunak had said earlier in the day he believed NHS waiting times were his biggest failure as Prime Minister. But this is good news today, is it? It's really good news because it's not just the number of people on the waiting list um, are falling, but the length of time they're waiting for procedures. So um, compared to, I know you had uh, the Labour uh, a shadow secretary on there, but in Wales, uh, there's 40 percent longer waits for procedures in Wales where Labour run the health service uh, there. But people are waiting uh, just under a year now for many procedures. And we've opened up a number of avenues to get those waiting lists down from our community diagnostic centres. We've got over 160 sites now performing uh, things like CTs, MRIs, endoscopies. Uh, which have helped get down those waiting lists. We've opened up over 100 surgical hubs across the country, uh, which are, again, operating uh, to uh, get uh, the back of that uh, backlog uh, down. Um, We would be further uh, ahead if we hadn't had the strikes. For example, I think in February there was 34,000 procedures that would have been done if it wasn't for the strikes that would have brought those those, uh, lists uh, even lower. Um, So considering we've just come through winter, considering uh, the strikes that were ongoing, um, it is good news and patients will be seen the difference in terms of who else is on the waiting list and how long they have to wait. And yet we have seen um, scenes yesterday in London, a South London GP, the queues around the block, people queuing for hours, struggling to get an appointment. We saw similar scenes in Bristol, people queuing over three days to try and join a new GP there. People say to us all the time they struggle to get hold of a GP. They've gone missing in action, many people believe, and even um, getting a routine dental appointment. So there's still lots and lots of work to do. There is. I mean, we did close down uh, the kind of routine healthcare system for nearly two years under COVID. And of course, that creates an actual backlog in itself. But if you look at dentistry, for example, since we put our new dental recovery plan in place in January, we've seen 500 new practices come and join NHS uh, dentistry. Um, and we'll create 2.5 million uh, more dental appointments. We don't employ dentists direct, so we do need them to take up NHS contracts, and we're trying to make that more attractive for them. So there's good news all around, whether it's A&E waiting times, uh, the four-hour waits are improved, the 12-hour waits are improved, dentistry uh, appointments are becoming uh, more uh, uh, reliable, um, and uh, the waiting lists are coming down too. So, you know, o- overall, um, it's uh, positive news in terms of the direction of travel.